easy to settle into what I call a deprivation mindset. The deprivation mindset says, oh, I can't do this. Oh, I shouldn't do that. And it, it's a focus on what you are saying no to yourself about. This kind of mindset is not helpful at all if you're trying to get healthy, if you're trying to make any kind of change in your life. All it's doing is it's like negative reinforcement of the thing that you don't want. So rather than focusing on, I shouldn't eat this, I can't do that, I need to stop doing this, which is like leading straight into the shame spiral, I like to encourage my clients to develop what's called what I call the goal oriented mindset or the growth mindset in a growth oriented mindset. Your main focus is on setting your sights on new behaviors that you want to add to your life and maybe replace the undesirable habits with. So for example, instead of saying, Oh, I shouldn't eat cookies after dinner. That's a deprivation mindset. And all it does is it reinforces the idea of cookies and ice cream after dinner. Instead though, if you took like a goal oriented mindset and said for this week, I want to replace my, my cookies and ice cream or whatever with fruit after dinner every day. So now it's like a quota that you're going to try to meet. It's a thing that you're trying to add to your life that replaces whatever the undesirable behavior is every week, set new goals for yourself that you're going to work towards and try to make that the focus of your, your transformation and your fitness journey. Focus on trying to meet certain goals and targets, set those goals and targets and, and focus on that instead of on the things that you're trying to stop doing. I think that it's good to be aware of certain behaviors that you don't like or certain behaviors that are not helpful. Um, it's good to recognize that those behaviors are problematic, but in order to move away from them, I think it's much better to just, you know, take note. Okay. This is something that I don't want to do anymore. What am I going to replace it with? Or what's a behavior or a habit that I can build that will help me move away from this undesirable behavior. Now, sometimes the undesirable behavior is a symptom of some kind of a larger systemic or environmental obstacle. If that's the case, then you need to focus on changing that environmental obstacle. So for example, the biggest complaint that I hear from people is I'm too busy to work out and I'm too busy to meal prep. But if you force those people to actually sit down and look at how they spend their time every week, there's a lot of time that's lost and wasted doing things that if you knew how much time you were spending on them, you would be like, shit, I don't want to do that. You know, a lot of us spend a lot of time just like sitting and scrolling on social media, which is, I mean, it's so easy to lose like an hour or two or three hours just scrolling through TikTok, right? Or Instagram or whatever. But if you deliberately like sit down with your calendar and you plan out your days and what the targets are that you want to achieve each day and set those targets according to whatever your fitness goals are, then, you know, you give yourself some more power instead of thinking about, I need to stop scrolling social media so much. Instead, you're like, oh, I need to make sure that I get my movement goal in today. I need to make sure that I, you know, I set a timer so that I can get up and, and, and break the, break the, the scroll, you know, what is it like hypnotism, right? So set your goals. Um, and, and focus on a goal oriented mindset for reshaping your fitness lifestyle, um, rather than focusing on all the things that you don't like and you don't want to see. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for more trainer tips and exercise tutorials.